pantry makeover. Finally! I'm so excited to finally be able to make this video because I was waiting for so long. So without further ado, let me show you how to create a pantry of your dreams. Meaning, how to revamp it in a way that it's functional and at the same time it inspires you to cook every day. In the first part of this video I will share with you what I've learned while I was organizing my pantry and what you should know before you start doing this. Okay, so let's go through all the phases, all five phases to revamp and reorganize your pantry. Phase number one, get inspired. You can search on Pinterest, YouTube, Instagram, whatever you feel like. Collect all the pictures and create so-called vision board. To be honest with you, I didn't know it. I didn't create my vision board. I got inspired by one single thing. And it was vintage labor printer. Literally, I can't remember when was the last time that something that small, that little gadget sparked that much joy in me. It cost under $10 and results are just amazing. I love that vintage looking labels. Phase number two, shop and measure. Buy jars and containers you will store the food in and also additionally can buy the products you think you will running out of so the jars will look full and beautiful. Usually in our pantry we have a lot of coconut and almond flour, cacao powder, rice, pasta, lentils, quinoa, nuts and seeds, dried fruits, buckwheat, millet, honey and of course superfoods. Also guys, it's a very good time when you're reorganizing your pantry to actually think about your diet and maybe make some more healthy choices. Two tips from me in that phase. Measure your drawers and cabinets to be sure that you can easily put your containers and jar in it. Tip number two, go with glass jars rather than plastic containers to avoid your food absorbing the chemicals from the plastics. I almost forgot guys, if you're new to our channel, consider subscribing because twice a week we spill out very valuable tips, tricks and hacks on healthy lifestyle and actually our aim here is to help you start a healthy lifestyle. So if you're interested, click it. Step number three, get everything out and clean. We are getting closer to the most enjoyable part. Actually, I can't believe that I said enjoyable and cleaning in the same sentence, but whatever. You are starting a new chapter in your kitchen, so everything has to be clean and tidy. So let me share my tips. Number one, take all the food you have and segregate them and group them into the categories. For example, pasta together, baking products, superfoods, and so on. Second tip, check the expiry date of your products and unfortunately throw the ones which are no longer good to eat. And the third one, clean your brand new jars and shelves with organic products. This one actually is our favorite one. It is completely safe to use in the kitchen and close to the food because 100% of the total ingredients are from natural origin. But if you cannot access or you cannot buy any organic, chemical-free, clean supplies, you can always use baking soda. Step number four, plan and design. Once everything is clean and selected, think what kind of products will go to what jars. Think about functionality and how often you use these products. In our case, the biggest jar for sure will be allocated to almond or coconut flour, some rice and buckwheat. Step number five, labels and decorations, my favorite one. Just go crazy and decorate your jars however you want. I have chosen the minimalistic labels from Daimo label printer. I think it just looks beautiful and I really enjoy doing this and it's pretty therapeutic.
our pantry makeover took us almost a whole day to execute but I'm so happy that finally it's done and that's it for today if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and of course don't forget to subscribe subscribe and we see you next Sunday bye, bye.